the fighting game tier list yeah i don't understand the fighting game tier list thing it's like so i don't know it's much better to play fighting games and argue with people about which one's better so i'm gonna play a fighting game instead sounds good nice you know chat room yesterday i realized there's like a cool mind game I was playing when I was playing Crofts, which was like, I was doing these auto spaced out strings. I really, fighting games are so tight. Even in my first time playing this game, I realized something so cool. Uh, the thing I was doing was like, I was doing this string right here. And then after the last hit, uh, what's it called? So after my crouching medium kick hit, I was spacing myself out, right? So I was doing bing, bang, boom. And then after that third hit of the crouching medium kick where I'm spaced out here, notice that uh, her normal didn't reach me right like i i would end up here and this would auto space me out yeah i set him up so i did this and then i whip punished him you see that that's an auto space string then what i started to do when i realized like so what he started to do is he switched it up oh wait i didn't switch he started doing reversal sweep and then i would just sweep him back so that's like the fun part about fighting games it's like even if you're uh what's it called even if you're like, uh, so he started sweeping me back, so I'd sweep punish him. Even if you're like brand new to a game, so many fundamental things just uh, apply. Something like that. I'd have to do EX to do that, but like that's not high enough to. Wow, I can combo. Dude, medium DP seems good. I later send it. That seems like it's pretty solid. Oh, that seems pretty good. All right, I like that combo. Anyway, who wants to play some video games? Yeah, this lobby is so, oh no. This lobby is so smooth compared to like every other lobby. Rip my comp, well, like how come there's a thing that's leave rotation, lobby settings, game settings, leave lobby. I can, I can change the lobby to make more or less people while in the lobby. I can move myself down here or join the rotation. That's so cool. 140 ping, huh? Agent. These are all nice uh, features. UK? Okay, cool. This is the furthest person I've played so far, yeah? Max again. This character seems pretty good, huh? Max seems like he's a pretty strong character. Seems pretty good. All right, we got a little bit of rollback right there. Parry, the parry is the way, huh? You can cancel the parry into things? What the hell? All right, I need to learn how to use this parry. Everybody's done it on defense so far. There's been no blocking, only parry. That move is so far. No blocking on wake up. It's only been parry or backdash from most of the people I've played so far. See? It's only been parry parries and uh parries and backdash on wake up or buttons every time. There's been like no it's just been a rotation of those options. So I need to learn how to shut them down because uh, those options are, are clearly very good, right? Nice. That's not a real safe jump. It's time to jump. I knew it, dude. I'm so stupid. Oh, it's armored now. Is it because he had the bottle? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Unfortunate. Oh, I tried to do jab into standing jab. Bottle gives him armor, it seems like, yeah. Yeah, the, the parry seems really good as a defensive move. I would put three frame delay. Oh yeah, I can turn up the delay counter. That move plus. That move looked negative to me, so I try to hit a button after. The animation on it. Nice. God, 
his buttons are so good. I try to whiff punish. I try to whiff punish with heavy punch, but it has armor because he drank. It's time for the jump. I just have to wait. Damn, I did a jab. Well, he's not going to jump now because he's got the armor. Damn, that anti-air is so good. That's pretty good damage. Wow. I wonder if I have a better jumping attack or if that's just that easy to end here. That's interesting. Yeah, it feels like it feels like because his grounded buttons are so good, it's actually very difficult for me to uh, use my projectile the way I want to because he has armor and good anti-projectile moves, right? Oh, I tried to punch. Yeah, armor. Oh, parry after two. Man, I have to play that mix up. Jeez, that was very good. I think that's an okay trade for me. Yeah, I'll just mix it up so that. Oh, I DP'd. I think it. I think it just got stuff. That looks unsafe. All right, he'll parry on wake up, right? Boom. Not on my watch. Order restore. Ready? Engage. Yeah, that was, that was a good cancel. Yeah, I forgot about the armor. No, that was bad. EXDP anyway. I should have just used Crouching Heavy Punch on him. Crouching Heavy Punch seems good. You know, his combos do slightly more damage. Slightly. Overtime. Engage. I think I might crouch a medium kick there. I tried DP. Wow, does that does my DP not have invincibility? That's the second time it's been stuck. I guess maybe it's not as good as I expected as an anti -air. Maybe I should do heavy kick then, or crouching heavy opponents. I thought he was gonna parry. That's why I empty jump throw. Ready? Engage. Also, empty jump is weak to defensive throw attack, right? So that was my. Oh, that didn't work. We have punish. Ah, oh, I scouted the back dash. All right, next time he jumps, I'm using a heavy kick. Ah, 
How did I get on that side? jump I was like slightly late oh you can't cancel it on block or maybe I didn't I don't know I tried I tried that jump is so fast by the way holy shit That's not really I'm gonna try to do crouching like this Oh, I'll be my heavy kick. I'm struggling to find an anti -air. Even after trying them earlier, I'm struggling to find an anti that feels good. Oh, that's good. Damn it. I jabbed right there. Bait that because I thought he would think I was gonna fireball. Okay. Now we wait for the jump. It's common. I think he's gonna overhead me. I might have a super that beats projectiles. I should be careful. Alright, 2 2. That parry is going to eat me alive until I find something. Like a good counter hit punish. I needed like a really, really strong counter hit punish so that I can punish accordingly. I'm I'm cool with him jumping. I was supposed to be super, not lunar disc, but. I did it and I'll do it again. Order restore. Ready? Engage. Not on my watch. I might be plus. I might have just swung on something that was plus. Nice. I walked forward to try to make that as tough as possible to hand here. That was a punish? Wow. Holy shit. Overtime. Engage. Just wait. He's been giving me so many jumps. I don't know why. Yep. 
That was a punish. Holy shit. He'll, 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 ju he'll jump. He'll jump. Just wait, chat. Just wait. He'll give it to me. And then I'll do four heavy kick after. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that happened. Nice. Damn, if I got my damage there, I would've got a setup. I would've had a good chance. I didn't realize my fireball, uh, what's it called? I didn't realize my fireball doesn't work there, so I have to do flip Ready? kick. Engage. My tech too late. The parry is so strong. Holy shit. The parry is so good. Like, it really feels like my offense, I can't I can't ever really do what I want to do because of it. It's like it's such a Oh wow. I hit crouch medium game. It's so good. I tried to parry there, but I messed up. I have to I have to start using it. I try to jab. Damn, it hit meaty. What? Oh, he can do an action after? I thought I was just gonna get a punish. Is it like, is it, is he just like zero after? What is it? Yeah, because I had the same problem against you eating pets. You, on wake up, you just didn't block. And I had no way to ever punish it. Like I, I had nothing. My options after were so bad. I had, I had like almost no, no strong punish, no threat. I just had like, I just, Died. I died to backdash or parry. Backdash or parry smoked me. Like right there too on that mix up. I don't really have anything good there either. That mix up I need to find something better than what I have. Armor. I thought my heavy punch was gonna reach. No sweat. Ready? Engage. Forgot that isn't a cross up. Yeah, I understand that they give counter hit, but I'm not. I don't have a good counter hit punish yet. All right, I gotta watch for the. He's gonna parry next time. Oh, he didn't parry. I try to walk up so that wouldn't happen. I guess maybe I should have tried sweep. I knew he was gonna walk back there, so I tried to walk forward and crouch a medium kick to hit him low. I had the right idea, I should have done sweep. All right, I'll play like one or two more. Yeah, my my big issue with this matchup is my damage output is so much lower because of my combos not being great. Uh, see, that's a good example. And I'm not, I don't have a good punish on parry yet. So me not having a strong punish, wow, that didn't reach. Me not strong having a strong parry on, punish on parry means that he can kind of just get away with doing parry a lot. Like there's no there's no strong threat, you know what I mean? Nice. Wow, I haven't jumped in so long. Nice. Base. 
Me not strong punish parry, me no not have. Engage. Yeah, exactly. Nice. I thought I saw a button. Ah, he had armor, but it didn't matter. Nice. I tried to stagger. Damn, I haven't done that one. Alright, that's around. I haven't done either of those things in quite a bit. Okay. It's hard because his buttons are like uh his grounded jab is really strong. His his buttons to intercept are great in general, so because of that, like you you Oh, I tried to sweep in here. You really can't get away with too much like um Can't you can't get away with too much on the ground with this character. Wow, that was a punish in my throat. Jesus. I tried to throw him back in the corner. Nice. Yeah, I should have done a fireball off the first one, to be honest. Anyway, that range is brutal. It's really hard. My buttons are much slower. I don't have a fast medium that I can buffer into super or anything there. I have to use my fireball as a button, I think, instead. All right, last one. I have to use fireball at that range Engage. instead of uh, instead of what's it called my my buttons. The problem is it's very risky to jump, obviously. I can't believe that's a punish on the throw. I can't believe whiffing a throw he has enough time to back that because throw is universally throw strong because it beats parry, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's like okay. so throw throw then losing to back dash button is. That is rough. It means it means that waking the wake up situation is such a scramble because if I'm trying to bait parry and I do nothing, he, he can backdash and yeah, it's bad. Right, there we go. I just wanted air to air. I could have killed him there actually. All right. Got him. Ready? Engage. Yeah, I figured he was gonna bottle up, which is fine. I think he's he's not gonna jump immediately because he has armor. So I just gotta bait the armor. Hit me? I actually can't believe that reach. Good choice. He hasn't done that in a while. Armor. Yeah, armor's pretty good, it turns out. Nice. I was too late. That super seems really strong. My issue with backdash is that if he backdashes on me, he still gets to punish the throw attempt. That's like, that's something that's going to take me time to get used to. Cause like my natural reaction is throw and if he backdashes just cover the, the backdash with a jab. Damn, I was too late to whip punish. Can I throw a bottle at me? Hey, quit throwing bottles at me. I heal jump, so I'm just gonna chill. That wasn't a punish. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I should have done a flip kick there. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Alright, 
GG's. Uh, KI has much, much worse throw recovery. You can backdash and punish with a heavy punch. KI has way worse throw recovery. Or backdash recovery. I guess it's throw recovery. Alright, let me try something real quick. What I want to know, Perry is really strong. I want to know what my account. I need to find a counter hit combo because if I don't have one, I'm just gonna get eaten alive by Perry. I need to have like a threatening damage option to make people not want to do it. So it's heavy, TP Bing, and then I do standing heavy kick into the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I get my DTC. Even that's not that bad though. If you miss the DTC there. Okay, so that's what you want. Wait, does it say split? I thought it said crescent kick. Doesn't it say crescent kick in the move list? Now you guys are making me... Isn't splits the forward heavy kick? Location. One is kick, one is split. Oh. Crescent kick is up kick, splits is the axe kick. I see. I'll do the voice acting for the next next character, and I'll be like, Crescent Kick! And then you guys will always know the name of the move. That'll be the voice pack. I'll be the voice I'll be the voice pack for the next character. No problem. Crescent kick. Wow, that is fun. All right, well, it's time to jump for sure, right? Is that unsafe? That might be unsafe. Oh, I tried to jab. Pretty good. I figured. Is that? Oh, can I just whip punish that? That looks like it's really bad on whip, actually. Wow. I'll try the EXDP. It's an SPD? I know. You're talking about her axe thing? I know it's an, 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 an XPD. I'm talking about the shield bash. The shield bash unsafe. That seems like a really bad trade for me. That uh, heavy kick. And she has a good ant here. That's plus. That one's probably not plus, right? Oh, my ant here got stuck. Yeah, I just wait, right? It doesn't seem like she can change the what she does. What the hell? There's a guy in my neighborhood riding a motorcycle. Oh fuck! I try to throw. I'm chill. Okay, so it seems like. Like that, it seems like in this matchup, I really need to take advantage of the fact that she's gonna be hitting heavy kick a lot and the shield whiff. Like he he just misses the shield whiff a lot, right? And so like, oh, that was a fireball. And so because of the shield whiff miss, I got, that's such a bad trade. Do I even have like a really good whiff punish for it? I feel like sweep is maybe my best answer. Okay, that's what I have to do, right? I didn't get the punish there, but that's the right idea. Oh, that's the wrong move. Jesus. I'm jumping. I didn't mean to TTC, but... Oh, wow. Wait, I thought that was a frame trap. Maybe I'm wrong. Huh, standing jab and a crouching medium kick's not a frame trap. <laughs> he's been doing a lot of jabs. Like on defense, he's jabbing a lot. I need to find something tight. 
I was supposed to be standing having people. Oh, that was far. That's plus. Okay. Doesn't have two hits of armor. Wow, I hit a button. And I didn't get it. Oh, I think I got God. Yeah. That seems really plus, that dash up. Oh, uh, I tried to, um, I tried to DP, but I didn't realize she crossed me up. So I just did it the wrong direction. Okay, so when she supers and jumps, she crosses you up. It's good to know. The It was an SPD super, so it did a lot of life. He, he jumps at me a decent amount. I think I can kind of just wait, right? That one looked plus. Oh, that was plus too? Wow, holy shit, that was a punish, I think. Okay. Oh, it's an overhead? Nice. Oh, is that grab invincible or did I just fuck up? You will make a great trophy. It's if it's not three taps, it's punishable. Okay. I try to counter hit punish the back that. Alright, fool me once. Oh wow, that didn't reach. Interesting. Oh god. It's an overhead. That sucks. Well, he did. He didn't punish it very well, but that's okay. It's okay, as thinking. Real of Nave, thanks very much for the prime. This matchup is definitely giving me more trouble than the, the other matchup I played, mostly because um, I have to figure out what to do when I'm put under pressure. The other matchup was the more neutral heavy, so I didn't have to deal with. I didn't have to deal with the pressure as much. This matchup is like. Um, this matchup is a lot more of like me trying to survive offense, right? It's, there's a lot less of me getting to play neutral against this character. Oh, that sucks. That's unsafe. Wow, no. I tried to do this and a cortical back kick. That sucks. I'm also having weird anti-air inconsistencies. My DP doesn't seem to go as far as I keep thinking it does. Invincible? That sucks. Do I have enough time to jump forward and punish? No. That sucks. Well, I'll just wait. Jesus. Huh. Wow, really? Dude, he has woken up jab almost every single time too when I get the knockdown there. I should just walk up and do crash and medium kick. Overtime. Engage. Is that is that one plus? That didn't look plus to me. Maybe I'm tripping. Oh. I tried DP. Yeah. 
Oh, I tried a heavy punch. I, I jumped because I thought he was going to do something. That's my fault. My fault not doing candy cane nice day. I should have neutral jumped. There's three stages in the game. Four stages in the game. Three stages. Ready? Engage. Damn, that's a punish. Oh, I try to whip punish. That sucks. Break. I did Sandy Jab there. I can't, I don't understand that move. Is it invincible? No, right? It just has armor? You will make a great trophy. The shield bash is not invincible. He just keeps doing it and I can't tell if it's just like an armored move or like what the, oh fuck. It's also negative, right? It seems like it. He wakes up jab every time. Stop jabbing. Just cause I suck. <laughs> oh, the classic. I tried to whip punish it, but I was too late. I think I have to parry. I think I have to parry more in this matchup. I, what's the parry? It's back plus kick. Nice. I'll do it. Oh, it's forward? I thought it was back. I tried to do like three buttons there, and I guess I was stuck in blocks. That's such a bad trade for me. Oh, I didn't punish that well. I think I actually could have killed him there if I had a good punish. Oh. I thought he was going to parry, so I walked up and I tried to do crouching heavy punch and a heavy flip, but I did it too early. I should have waited. You got to wait until he gets red. Engage. Yeah, that's not a good trade for me. That's so that's actually so bad. I try to parry. Alright, the jump will come. I just have to wait. Oh! Didn't hit. Lunar Geese! Plus, huh? Break. 
I tried to EX DP. I did not mean to do that. Oh. I, I did empty jump there to try to bait the parry or something. That was a punish, though, I think. I think I'm kind of like... I think I'm kind of like figuring this match about. This one's tough for sure. If I think if I once I start pairing, I think it'll be better. That that part is always gonna be a problem for me. That part right there. This range is like it's really hard to trade favorably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, he committed. I see. Man, crouching jabbed again. I need to learn real medias. This is like the first match where this has been a real bad problem. I was late. This this has been until now. I don't think I've played a single matchup where it was as important as this one. That's insane. Yeah, I did it. This one for sure. Like almost every almost every knockdown. He's either woken up jab or has woken up just like delay jab. So for that reason, I haven't really been able to find something consistent to to do. Like right there, I muted him. I didn't turn it into anything, but that's a good sign. It's like the wake, wake up button or delay button is like super constant, right? So, oh, I damn, I was too busy thinking. That's really good. I try to walk up and block. I don't know what he's trying. will make a great trophy I think I should have done any way to punish that a different combo I should have done like a DTC into something better see what I mean about buttons right it's always there's always buttons I gotta figure out how to beat that I'm, do, I'm doing a pretty bad job at stopping it. and it's it's like clearly a oh man it's clearly a habit I tried to so I gotta take advantage of it. I'm doing it. See the jab? See, I wasn't even near him and he jabbed. Oh, that's a punish. I should have punished bigger than that. I'll do it. Nice. I gotta, uh, I gotta do a better job of punishing that for sure. Crouching medium punch is a good medium. Can I combo it into standing jab? Wow. You know, I didn't cancel last time because I was afraid of something like that. I didn't know that went through projection. You know, I had a feeling. Oh, wow. Oh, she's so close. Okay. What the? That was such a weird jump art. That move is so weird to me. Next time, bring an army. Yeah, crouching medium punch seems great. All right, probably my last one. Ready? Crouching medium punch seems great. Okay. I think this matchup, I'm starting to understand a little bit better. Like that's what I need to be doing. like unsafe, right? So. Oh, 
Yeah, it was time to jump. Returning to base. Ready? Engage. Try to jab. That move punishable. Ah, oh, nice. You will make a great trophy. Overtime. Engage. That sucks. I got my I got my button, but I didn't get the move I tried to do before it. Alright, he's ready. Break. Dude, I tried to jab and then throw the back that. Wow, I tried to sweep back. You know, I just walked up the block. I thought I was going to go under him, to be honest. I tried to bait him, and then when he was going to go over me, I tried to do crouching light kick, crouching jab, and a All right, GG's. <clears throat> I think that's my fault for, uh, oh, whoops. I think that's my fault for, uh, what's it called? Not just DPing. I was on the right track. I think, I think, um, I think if I played a new, like a new set, I'd be much closer. Agent. First set. Yeah, yeah, it's just it was ugly. Select location. How do you not get demotivated after? Oh, I should have picked a different stage after being in the lab and then losing nine games straight. I mean, most of the people I'm playing who are beating me have been playing the game for a long time, right? So, like, this is like their game. And um, most every game, I'm learning a lot. I think I was very close. Character agent, she's broken. I'll try a heavy kick. This combo is slightly better than mine. That's in the front. I'll try to throw attack. Yeah, I was in the lab. I was in training mode for like 10 minutes trying a counter hit combo to beat shield. I didn't really lab against this character or anything. All right, that round, I basically just got jumped in on a bunch. So I just need to not get jumped in on. That'd be great. That's fine. Is he a charge character? No. Yeah, there's no reason to beat up anybody who asks a question. I mean, I'm sure it comes from his own experience of like learning a game and like not liking losing over and over. So he's just legitimately asking. Oh man, wow, that's so good. Like he's he's just genuinely asking. Like probably from his experience, like. When he plays fighting games online, he finds them difficult 
if he loses a lot of games. He is a standing medium punch. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done flip kick anyway. Pokemon! Yeah, when I, I talk about this a lot, actually. I tried learning GG, which is why I asked. When I was a wrestler, right? So I wrestled, I wrestled in high school. The first year I was a wrestler, I did not win a match. I want to explain that to you. I wrestled probably 30 to 40 matches. I didn't win a single match. Think about that. I wrestled all year long, a full season. I was training every single day. And I didn't win a single match. He'll jump at me here, I think. So I'm just going to go. A whole year of training every single day, you know. Okay, okay. I got a little too antsy there. What? Yeah, I figured he was going to try to anti-air, so I just hit it early so it would beat it. A whole year, right? I wrestled every day, like two to three hours a day, five days a week. And then on weekends, I would go to tournament, and I'd never want a match. I'm just going to walk and block. How do they do that jump? How do they do that weird jump? I totally gave that damage up for no reason. You know, me too, buddy. Anyway, I wrestled a whole year like that. The second year I was a wrestler, I immediately got moved up to varsity from wrestling as a freshman because there was nobody in the weight class I wanted to wrestle. So I went from not wrestling, like not winning a single match the second year, having to, you know, basically going to like a super tough contested weight class and wrestling against people who were very good. With punish. So you can imagine I was not the most confident about my performances. Oh, that doesn't combo though, huh? All right, don't jump. Give me the fat combo. Right, so, you know, you lose a lot. That's just how it goes. And um, that's just how life goes. He jumped a lot last round, so I'm gonna jump at him. This isn't combo. What am I supposed to... I, there's got to be something better than that. There's a rule of fighting games. It's like, I jumped at him and it worked. So, like, now it's his turn to jump at me. He is... By the... You see what I mean? I try to answer here, too. And it got stuff. By the just laws of fighting games, like, if someone jumps at you and it works, it's your turn to jump at them because, like, what the hell? You don't get to jump. My turn. Oh, standing medium, crouching medium? Is that the order? Was I doing it wrong the whole time? Walk up, crouching medium kick. What am I supposed to do off that DTC cancel? Just heavy punch into heavy punch into heavy DP. The rules of fighting games are like you do something, I do something, right? You wake up DP, I'm gonna wake up DP. You jump at me, I'm gonna jump at you. You're like, you know, that's just how it goes. Oh, crouching medium punch is not a special cancelable? But I do it too late. Oh, that sucks. Oh, he could have done a better combo than that, right? Yeah. 
on its sandy medium kick there. <laughs> I woke up crouching jab into overhead because I thought it would kill. Uh, if you want me to try a game, just like recommend it and I'll see it. What do you want me to play? So, a lot of times when people recommend me games, they're games I've already played. I, don't, I think people don't realize that I've given a lot of fighting games a try. There's very few fighting games I feel like I haven't played. Okay, I stole that from this guy. This guy's right. Oh, I should have done Crouching Heavy Punch there. Rumblefish? What the hell's a Rumblefish? I did see the new Monster Hunter content, yeah. Gundam? Well, I mean fighting games. I'm Ready? talking about fi fighting games. Engage. Virtual Fighter 5? It's an old game without a modern port, yeah. Nice. Oh, I didn't get my flip. Whoops. You know, corner control is so important in so many fighting games. I feel like I should do a two minute guide on it. Because, like, let me push him to the corner here. So, like, when I have him in the corner here, notice that if I just stand stand under the timer here, he can't jump, right? Because I can just anti-air. And also, he can't hit me with any of his buttons because I can just walk away and like whiff punish him. But if he if he wants to hit me, oh, he died. If he wants to hit me, he can't walk back and make my buttons whiff, right? So like when I have corner control in that situation, I just walk back and stand at a range where his buttons aren't going to hit me. All right, I'll spend the meter just to put him in the corner. I'll show you guys why. So I put him in the corner, right? Hey. Stop doing that. Okay, so I put him in the corner. See how he can't he can't hit me because I just stand in range where all his buttons whip. You see that? And if he jumps, if he, he has to walk up to do that, and if he jumps, I just anti air. But because he's in the corner, he can't position himself. Like he can't walk up to me. Oh, I messed up. I should have been anti air. He can't walk up to me and make my you know anything I want to do whip. He doesn't have the ability. He can't, he can't change the spacing. I can adjust where I'm standing. He can't adjust where he's standing. He has to walk forward, which is like, you don't want to walk forward because then you're going to walk into my normals. Oh, I tried standing medium kick anti instead of heavy kick. I don't know why. I got a lot of time here. I just play it slow. I don't throw a fireball if he passes the timer. Like right here, I'm not going to throw a fireball. See? I only throw fireballs full screen there because he has nothing to punish it. The minute he walked up to the timer, I didn't throw a fireball because he could jump it and punish me. Ready? That's all there is to it. Like fighting, you know, there's a lot to think about, but once you've thought about it in one game, you can think about it in all games. Like right, uh, what's it called? At this range back here, I can throw fireballs like super safely, but the minute he walks up, my fireball range is no longer safe. All right, he's gonna. Oh. My job, or my end here. He's jumping at me a lot now. I, sh I should focus more on end here. All right, he'll, he'll jump again. <clears throat> and I can get to try my end here combo again. Oh, it's fireball time. I agree, Keats. <clears throat> How do you get out of the corner? So there's a few ways, right? One, if I'm looking to whip punish you on the ground, you can jump. Two, by walking forward, walking and blocking is very strong when you're cornered, right? It's like a, it's a really good thing to keep in mind. That's my fault. It's a really good thing to keep in mind. All right, I'm in the corner here. This is a perfect example. He missed his throw, but like, so when he spaces me out here, see how I walk and block like that and I create space? Now I'm in a range where I can jump, right? So walk and block is great. And then the other thing I can do is, uh, what's it called? Walk up and jump over him. Jump over him so he can't stand at the range to anti-air me anymore. Oh, I try to bait that. So 
So if I have corner control, if he wants to get out, he's got to either jump or hit a button, and I can whip punish him, right? He can't he can't adjust my his spacing and make me whip. Yeah, throwing a fireball is good too. Like he's he's stuck here, right? If he jumps, I end here. If he whips a button, I can just whip punish. Nice. Corner's rough, man. Walk and block. Use your fireball to push him away, right? So if I'm standing far away to whip punish a move, uh, you should throw a fireball at me. Because because at that range, I'm looking to beat a normal or a jump. And fireballs are pokes that you can't beat with your normals, right? My normals don't, meet, don't beat his pokes. All right, it's time for a jump. I'm chilling. Uh, I tried a heavy kick in here. I think instead of heavy kick, I should do crouching heavy punch. He's gonna DP. I try to empty jump, but apparently that's not a safe jump. How do they do that? How do they hang 10 in the air like that? Is it not just a neutral jump? Is that a neutral jump? I thought he did like some momentum canceling thing. It looked weird. Oh, he got me. I think he tried to DP, or at least I thought he was going to, but he didn't even have meter. See, throwing a fireball is good to push himself out of the corner, because at this range, he's at like a really bad spot. Oh, wow. I actually can't believe that hit me. That was almost a cool combo. See, he walked up so close that me jumping out of the corner was really easy, actually. So I can I can walk and block to push myself out of the corner, and then now at this range, I can jump. If he stands further away, it's harder for me to jump, right? I'll do it. This round's going to be tough to win. What the fuck was that? Stay like it. How many characters in this game? Six, and they're going to add two more. Overtime. Engage. I thought he was going. Oh, I thought he was doing an overhead or something. I didn't know what that move was. I'll do it again. I'm too. I'm too close here at this range to answer. So I gotta. I gotta try to walk. walk. Hey, you're taking too many lessons from the chat room. You're learning too much. That was a nice DP. Don't do it. I thought he was gonna farm. I thought he was gonna EXDP. All right, last one. Is crouching heavy bunch what I'm what I'm supposed to be doing? And then I'll give away some codes when he jumps at me. Any heavy kick feels like I need to be slightly further away. Like I need to be like this range here, right? Oh, I tried to block. I was too late. Oh, is that your fake fireball? This? Or is that him missing? What? You can do that. No way that was plus. Oh, I try to do the same thing. I did it. Damn right, and I'll do it again. You know, I jumped so many times. I don't know why I thought I'd get away with it again. You know, I walked up to do standing heavy a bunch of stuff that. Returning to base. Ready? Engage. Wow. 
Wow, that dissipated a fireball? That was really cool. Oh, my DP didn't come out, but I got block, which is pretty nice. I could have done flip kick and killed him, but I didn't want to spend my meter. I'm going to save it for the next round. That's the greedy goblin in me for sure. Overtime. I like that it calls the last round overtime. Oh, that's unfortunate. But I don't think I really have a good punish there, to be honest. He'll, he'll jump. He made a mistake. It's time to jump. I also agree, calling round three overtime is cool. I think it's so cool. All right, GG's. Ugh. I finally did a cool combo. I saved all my meters so that the last round I could do one cool combo.